What is up guys? Crazy clean detailing. I hope you guys are having a crazy good day today. So uh, as requested, I'll be showing you guys how to buff a car, a paint. And a one step process, the one that I use for a lot of my cars. And so my car was just repainted and it had to be wet sanded, which I'm working on right now. I got the hood and this side finished and I thought I'd show you guys how to buff a paint. And normally your paint should not look like this. This comes from wet sanding. I used 3000 grit sandpaper and wet sanded it. And I will not be showing you guys that today, but if you guys want me to, I can make a video of that sometime. But today I'm gonna be focusing on showing you guys how to buff. So as some of you guys know, I had surgery last week and I'm still working on recovering. But I thought now's a good time to get my car in here and wet sand it and buff it, get it ready for a ceramic coat. Because as a detailer, I barely have time to ever do my own car, so I thought now's a good time. I'm still in pain, but I am just trying to take it easy and take my time, do what I can on it. So uh, the products I'll be using is the Grios Garage Random Orbital Polisher. I picked that up at AutoZone, Amazon. For the price, it's done a really good job for me. It's lasted me, I want to say, about two years so far, and it's still working. It's in great condition. And what I'll be using with that is the Eurofiber Microfiber Pad, as well as the 3D1 Cutting Compound and Finishing Polish. It's abrasive, it does a great job with those deep scratches, the swirl marks. It won't get everything out. If they're really deep, it's not going to do everything, but it definitely will make a big difference. And if, if you do it right, if you take your time, you can get most of those scratches out. If they're through the paint or completely through the top coat, there's no way to get them out completely, but it will definitely make a difference. And it's a one-step process, so what that means is it does a great job with the scratches, but it also finishes nice. It gives it that nice, glossy look once you're done, so you don't have to go over it again with a polish as you would have to with an extremely abrasive pad and compound. Those will get the deeper scratches out, but it won't give you that glossy finish that you want once you're done. So, uh, I got some tape here. I'll be taping off an area. If you're just starting, if you're just learning how to buff, I'd suggest you use about a two foot by two foot square. I'll be showing you guys what that looks like here. I'll tape that off and give you guys some tips and tricks and hopefully you guys will learn a little bit something in this video and you guys can start buffing your own cars. So I taped off this area here. Normally what I would do, I would start at the edge of the panel, get an area and go from the edge. But I decided since I'm recording, I could give you guys a little bit better of a look. It's a nice flat surface, doesn't have the crease here and I can explain a little, a little bit better. So if you're just starting out, I'd suggest doing do an area like this, about this size. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna prime, good thing that was my car. You're gonna wanna prime your pad, so about three pea-sized drops on your pad. Put it on, you have six speeds here. I never go higher than four and a half. I actually start out with four and a half, put it on, hold it down. It does not take a lot of pressure, about five, 10 pounds of pressure. To prime it, put it down, hold the button. Just to get your pad primed, and that is if your pad is new or you're just starting, you wash your pad. Make sure your pad is not wet. If you wash it, make sure it's completely dry before you start buffing. And always make sure, as you're doing your car, every so often you want to clean your pad, brush it out, get all that nasty stuff out of there, or it will not do the job it's supposed to do. It will eventually start, you, your pad will start losing the, uh, its use, and it will be matted together, and you just will not get the results that you want to get. So after you've primed your pad, a lot of detailers will say, four pea-sized drops, or whatever, 
it works different for different people. What I do, I just go like that. I put a good amount of compound on and spread it out. Once it's spread out, I have a lock on my button here. I will make four passes cross hatch pattern, meaning first this way, then this way. Every other time, you go the opposite direction. And always make sure you do a 50% overlap. What that is, is, once you come down here, when you go back up, always make sure you overlap at least 50% to get the results that you're wanting to get. Which way to go? I got caught up in the flow. I guess I couldn't say no. She was a love machine. Like so my video cut off, guys. I'm sorry about that. But I went over it. I made four passes, and as I was saying, and apparently the video cut it out. But after going over it one time, four passes and it's still not how you want it to look, and in my case, I'll definitely have to go over it again because I was wet sanding it, but if there's still some scratches and you just want to make it look better, you can always go over it again. And I started going over it, and apparently my polisher, I thought it gave out, but I took it apart, and it is in fact working again. But if it does, it might be giving out, I don't know. But if it does, Brio's Garage has a lifetime warranty, guaranteed, something goes wrong, send it in, and they will take care of it. That's one thing I love about them. But I'm going to go over again, and hopefully the video doesn't cut out this time. So here is this dream of me. She was a love machine. I guess I just got laid tonight. I guess I got it good right and No matter how hard I tried It was an unequal fight I guess I just got laid tonight Alright, so this is what it looks like after we're done As you can see we have all that shininess all that gloss brings out all the metallic in the paint. Now, let's strip away the tape just for a satisfying. So hopefully you guys learned a little bit something. And I hope it works out for you guys. Good luck and I'd appreciate it if you would like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.